Imagine a photo of the sun aligned and inside the majestic Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Now imagine a photo of the moon aligned and inside the monument. Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, the question is, is it possible? Will it happen? Let's figure it out. Hello, photo pillar, Rafael the Bar here. The Arc de Triomphe honors those who fought and died in France in the French Revolutionary and the Napoleonic Wars. It has all the names of the French victories and generals inscribed on its surface. Definitely, it's one of the most impressive monuments in Paris. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use photo pills to plan a photo of the sun and a photo of the moon aligned and inside the Arc de Triomphe. Something like this photo by Carol that was awarded with the Sun Master back in May 2020. I love this photo. Well, the first step is to decide the photo you want. This is to decide the position of the sun and the moon inside the Arc de Triomphe and how big you want the sun and the moon to be relative to the monument. Once you've decided the photo you want, you'll be able to find the shooting spot and the shooting data and time the photo occurs, so you can go and capture it. Okay, let's plan the photo with the sun first. Let's get started. The Arc de Triomphe has a total height of 50 meters and a total width of 45 meters. And the arch inside has a height of 29.19 meters and a width of 14.62 meters. Given these dimensions, it occurs to me that it could be cool to have a sun of a diameter of 10 meters to fit inside the arch and still have 2 meters of free room or free, free space on each side. Hmm, yes, that would be really cool. Now, how high you want the center of the sun to be in the arch? Remember that the inner arch has a height of 29.19 meters. Okay, let's say that you want the center of the sun to be at 20 meters above the ground level of the Arc de Triomphe. If you add the radius, which is 5 meters, half of the, of the diameter, 10 meters, the upper side of the sun will be at 25 meters above the ground level leaving a bit more than 4 meters above the sun, between the sun and the arc. Yes, definitely, I think this could be a great photo, you know, to have a sun of 10 meters inside the arc of at a height of 20 meters. The height of the center of the moon, 20 meters, so we have space above the sun and on the sides uh, to fit inside the arch. Cool! Now it's time to find the shooting spot. Okay, let's start planning. Go to photo pills, tap on Pana, and now tap on the load button and type Arc de Triomphe. Uh, here it is, tap on it, and the red pin will be placed on the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Now move the red pin a bit to the west. I think it will be shooting towards the. Well, I moved the red pin towards the east because I want to shoot towards the west to capture. The, set, the setting sun inside the, the arch. And now we'll swipe the top panels to the left, right to until you, to, you get to panel 2, tap on the button on the panel and now place the black pin right where you want the sun to be and this is inside the arch aligned with the Arc de Triomphe. Now we want the sun to have a diameter of 10 meters and if we apply the photo pills rule of 100, this is to multiply the diameter 10 meters we want by 100, we'll get the shooting distance or the approximate shooting, di shooting distance. So 10 by 100 is 1000 meters, one kilometer. So if we place our tripod around about one kilometer away from the arch, we should get uh, more or less a sun of 10 meters and also a moon of 10 meters. Well, if you want to learn more about, you know, how the shooting distance effect the size of the sun and the moon relative to your subject, watch this video. Okay, my job now is to find my shooting spot that's more or less at one kilometer. Has to be a safe shooting spot because I'm going to be moving along the Champs Elysees, which is this amazing avenue that we have here in Paris. So I'll be moving the red pin along the Champs Elysees and always Keep an eye to the top panel. The top panel is telling me the shooting distance, the distance between the black pin and the red pin. Now, for example, I have it at 880.8 meters. Well, now I'm at 1.1 kilometers, but I need to find a really safe shooting spot. And here I see a crossing and a really safe area to place the tripod. So tap and hold in the middle of the screen to place the red pin. 
I think this is a pretty safe shooting spot because it's on the crossing and in this safety area in the middle of the street, which is nice. And from this shooting spot, I have a beautiful view of the arch. Also, notice on the top panel in brackets that it says that the size of the moon is 9.9 .9 meters, which is also the size of the sun and the size of the moon will be more or less 10 meters from the shooting spot. And the shooting distance is 1.2 kilometers. The planner is much more accurate than the Frobel's rule of 100. So always trust the data that the planner is giving you. Okay, I think that we have the shooting spot. Let's have a look now on Google Street View with our computer, uh, because I really want to see the view from the shooting spot. I want to see the view of the arch from the red beam position. So let's go to the computer now. Okay, we are in Google Maps here, and here we have the Arc de Triomphe. And my shooting spot should be around over here, where is the crossing point? Here, here I have it. And now I will place the human figure right where or less my shooting spot is. Should be over here, for example, on the road. And yes, as you see, this is a pretty safe area to shoot here. Nice. And the view of the arch is beautiful. Let's see. Yeah, I see the sky through the arch and I have a beautiful, beautiful view of the Arc de Triomphe. Yes, definitely this shooting spot is amazing. Let's figure out now the shooting date and the shooting time. We have the red pin on the shooting spot and the black pin on the Arc de Triomphe where we want the sun to be. Now tap on the Find button you have here at the bottom left hand corner and tap on Sun at azimuth and the elevation. Remember that we're applying the Sun first. On Android, just tap on Sun. And now we have to tell Philopilus three things. The day range we want Philopilus to look for possible shooting dates and times. And then the position of the Sun, the two coordinates, the azimuth, which is the direction we want the Sun to be, and the elevation, the height we want the Sun to be. So let's start with the day range. As a day range, I always, for the sun, I always set a one year period starting from today. So I'm gonna set a starting date today and the end date, I'm gonna set it in one year. Great. Let's go for the azimuth and the elevation. Well, the azimuth is already set because the yellow pin you see on the map is linked to the black pin, which is great. It's an azimuth of 299.76 degrees plus minus two degrees, which is the error, error or tolerance. In this case, I'm gonna use a, a much uh, narrow tolerance because I really need to be really precise with this planning. So to change the tolerance, tap on numeric, and as error, I'm gonna add this time one, 0.1 degrees. And as you see, woof, uh, area where Philippus will be looking for the sun the sun is narrow, super narrow now. Great, I have the azimuth set. Let's set the elevation, tap on elevation. And to set the elevation, I'm gonna use the numeric option. Tap on numeric at the bottom. And here again, I'm gonna introduce an error of 1.1 because I really want to be really precise. And as the, uh, the elevation, I'm going to introduce the upper and height above the yellow pin, which is the upper height above the black pin. So here I'm telling for appeals how high I want, I want the center of the sun to be above the ground level where I have the yellow pin or the black pin. So I said 20. So you remember that you want, we want the sun to be at a height of 20 meters uh, inside the arch. Uh, great, so set 20 here and now tap on the magnifying glass on top of the screen, top right hand corner, to get a table of all the possible dates this photo occurs. And I see two dates. Yeah, Wednesday, 11th of May 2022, around 9.02 pm. So I'll tap on the result to see the plan on the map. And that's pretty accurate. I have the sun uh, more or less aligned where I want it, which is pretty cool. But notice on the top panel that it says sun height 90 meters and I want it 20 meters. So tap on the uh, on the time bar, do on press to be able to change the time more precisely and change the time until it says on the top panel 20 meters. Okay, I have it here. And now I'll try to move the red pin a bit north 
to align it uh, with the arch. <laughs> I cannot go uh, that north because you know I don't want to get into the lane of the vehicles. I need to be really safe. So I think this is gonna be my shot. That's gonna be cool, cool, cool. As the sun goes down, we will be more centered to the arch. So, uh, but I think it's a it's a great shot. It's a great plan. I mean, I have my shooting spot, the in position. The sun will be through the arch. It will have a size of check the top panel in brackets. It says size 10.6 meters. So the apparent size of the sun is going to be 10.6 meters, which perfectly fits inside the arch. And the shooting date is May 11, 2022. And the shooting time is around 9:00. 1 p.m. How cool is that? <laughs> Tip, if you want to see the size of the sun on the moon, tap on the map settings button you have here next to the plus button on the map, tap on the sun layer and switch on show sun size and I'll switch on the sun shows moon size too on the moon layer, tap on moon layer, so switch on show moon size because the next thing I'm gonna plan is the moon and go back to the map and now if I zoom on the black pin you see that the azimuth line of the sun is not a line anymore, it's an area which is telling me how big the moon will, will be. The 10.6 meters you see on the top panel is now represented on the map with, uh, by this uh, orange area. So cool. Okay, as I said, I have my plan. All I have to do now is to save it. Uh, tap on the save button and you can save a plan to, the, this plan to your to-do list. And another thing you can do is to tap on more, action, and here I always recommend you to add an alert to your calendar, add to calendar, and also you, you can send this plan to a friend via email, and if your friend is a photo pillar, he or she will be able to import it onto photo pills and you know, check it and play with it, which is super cool. Okay, now that we have our shot for the sun, let's plan the shot for the moon. It's super, super easy. Well, now that we've planned the shot for the sun, planning for the moon is super, super easy. Tap on the find button and cancel the search. Tap again on the find button. And now tap on uh, moon at az azimuth and elevation. On Android, tap on moon. And I have already said, I have my day range. Actually, for the moon, I'm gonna use a day range of two years because the moon is not that easy to predict. But the azimuth and the elevation, the coordinates of the moon, are the same as the coordinates of the sun. So I'm gonna leave it like that and tap on the search uh, magnifying glass icon at the top and see the possible days I have. I'll see that we have a full moon here, but I think I'm gonna check. Mm, well, I'm gonna go for the full moon, yes. I see another interesting shot on July 3rd, 2022. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I'm gonna go for the, for the full moon, which is the closest result on Friday, November 19th, 2021. Oh, okay. Let's check the shot here, tap on the photo result. And again, zoom on the heart to triumph. As you see, you see the size of the moon already. It's 9.9 uh, meters, according to the top panel. And uh, the moon height is 22.6. I want it lower, so I'll change the time, move time forwards until it says 20 meters, the top panel, and here I have it all, 19.19, great, 20 meters. Okay, <laughs> I have my plan, I have my shooting spot, the ramping position, uh, my shooting date and time is gonna be November 19th, 2021, at 7.44 a.m. the moon will be inside the Arc de Triomphe, it's gonna be at 19.9 meters, uh, above the ground level, this is the center of the moon, and its apparent size is gonna be 9.9 .9 meters. So nice. Now, for the moon, you always need to check the natural light you'll get. And to do it, swipe the top panel to the left and check the sun elevation, the elevation of the sun, because the elevation of the sun is telling you the natural light. By the way, you wish to master natural light and understand the relation between the elevation of the sun and the different types of natural light, watch this video. Okay, the sun elevation is minus 3.92 at the time of the shooting. This is at 7.44 a.m. And minus 3.92 is golden hour. Remember that the golden hour occurs when the sun is below 6 
and minus 4 degrees. And the blue hour occurs when the sun is between minus 4 and minus 6 degrees. In this case, we are at the end of the golden hour, which is so cool because this, the moon will be so powerful. We, have, we will have, have this amazing orange or orange yellow color. So this is gonna be an amazing shot for the moon. Guys, if you're in Paris tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, no, because I'm gonna publish this video further down the road, but uh, this all has already happened. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay, I have my plan. Everything has been planned, measuring spot, measuring data and time. Easy. Now you wish to learn how to photograph the sun, the moon, the Milky Way. You wish to learn how to plan the sun, the moon, the Milky Way, photograph everything you want. Check our uh, photography guides. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first column below to our super long uh, collection of photography guides. There you can learn everything you need. Again, to photograph any astronomical event you want. The sunset, sunrise, moonrise, moonset, big moons, uh, small moons, the Milky Way, uh, star trails, uh, drone photography, landscape photography, use lens filters, everything you need. There you have all the free guides for you to download and to read online. So take advantage of it. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot legendary photos. Bye-bye.